welcome back. Now, remember I said we were going to see a granny walking on Earth. Did you? Yes. Yes. Super. Well, a couple of days ago, our Bob went down to Sussex and it turned out to be a hair-raising experience. Have a look at this. That's right, Scylla. And it's going to be hair-raising in more ways than one. You see, inside this house behind me is Hilda Fairchild, who's having her hair done by her daughter, Anita. Now, Anita has written and told us that her mother, who is a great-grandmother, has a very much a daredevil streak in her, and she'd love nothing more than to stand on the wings of an aeroplane flying through the air. It's called wing walking. So, we'll go and see if she's ready for takeoff. Hope we don't spoil the hairdo. I think we might, though. This could be, this could be where Hilda is. Yes, yeah, this is definitely Hilda Fairchild here. <laughs> Hilda! <laughs> How are you, Chuck? Hilda Fairchild, turn round on this lovely swivel chair. <laughs> surprise, surprise, Hilda. I just think it is. <laughs> oh, right. Love the haircut, that's very, very nice. <laughs> Now, please, let me tell you. I'll, I'll have a sit down. Anita's please, there. Please Come in here. Anita. <laughs> She's the one you've got to blame. <laughs> Nobody make curlers for a minute. Give Scylla away. I'm Give embarrassed. I mean, don't be. Like this. No, you look lovely, Hilda. But Anita has told us <laughs> that you've always wanted to fly an aeroplane in a very unusual way. Yes. What's that? I want to stand on the wing. A wing walk. You want to do a wing walk? Yes. Now, are you sure you know what you're getting yourself into? Yes. Here? Definitely. Well, Hilda, <laughs> I must tell you, we've got the aeroplane, we've got the strap for you, we've got your flying suit, you're going for a wing walk. Brilliant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not pulling your leg. Oh, you're going to do it, Hilda. fantastic. Is that all right? So Absolutely you, fantastic. You don't need your hair done, because it'll be a bit of a mess <laughs> after all. <laughs> so we'll get the curls out, shall we? All right. Please. Can we get these out? Let me see these. You put a lot in here, haven't you, Anita? Come on, give us a hand with these. Oh, my word. Here we are, Hilda. This is Cywell Airport. We've actually got two aeroplanes for you. That yes. one at the back, the one with one wing. Yes. That's a little chipmunk, and that will be actually following or ahead of you or whatever. That will be watching you from another angle. Quiet with that. And then we've got... Mind you, we are as an airfield. <laughs> then we've got this one, which is a tiger moth, and there's, yes. that's where you'll be standing up there, where that handsome young man with red coat is. And yes. what, we, that, what they're doing, they're just finishing off setting up the mounting for the camera that will be looking straight in your face. Because we want all those sort of reaction things. Actually, you're, the two pilots today are from the Barnstormers, so you're in very good hands. All right. I'm sure I, I am. must. I must tell you, I've never known anyone look forward to anything so much as Hilda is to this. She's been telling us all the time. So your final preparation, your hat. Thank you. Goggles. Headset, because you should be able to talk to each other if it all works. OK. All right. 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 Anita, I hope you won't put those on. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Any minute now. Hilda, you're all trussed up and ready to go. I certainly am. All right, Ross, could you start the engines and you're away, Hilda. <laughs> the people look like ants. Well, they should do. You haven't taken off yet. They are ants. <laughs> Devil Hilda safely down to earth again. There she is in the audience. My goodness me. <laughs> now, I know you enjoyed it, Hilda, but would you do it all again? I would like to, but perhaps do a loop-the-loop. 
Hoop-de-loop. <laughs> You're a braver woman than I am. Well done, Hilda.